Welcome to rule number three. So rule number three is very simple, so easy, and yet very very powerful. In fact, I usually say this is the number one suggestion, the number one rule, the most important rule, and so easy. And it is learn with your ears, not with your eyes. Okay. If you want to speak excellent English. You have to learn with your ears. Listening, 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 and more listening is the key to speaking excellent English. It's the most important thing because if you listen a lot, you are going to learn vocabulary. You will learn grammar. You will get faster, and you will understand better. Listening is kind of the magic key to great English speaking. There's a lot of research about this. This all shows listening is the most important thing you can do. So this tells us one reason you probably have some trouble with your speaking. Why? Because again, when you learned English in school. You probably learned mostly with your eyes. Most English schools, middle schools, high school, university, private English schools, most of them focus on textbooks in the classroom. I'm sure this has been true for you also. So textbooks, textbooks, textbooks. So that's the problem in school. Basically, you learn with your eyes. And basically, in school, you learn to write English. You also learn to think about English, so you know a lot about grammar rules. In fact, you know more about grammar rules than most Americans, most Canadians, most British people, because native speakers don't study that stuff very much. Native speakers learn to speak English with their ears by listening, listening, listening. And that's what you must do if you want to speak English quickly, easily, automatically, correctly, just like a native speaker. So let me be a little more specific because it's important how you listen and what you listen to. The most important thing is you must listen to easy English. It must be easy. What do I mean by easy? Well, you should understand ninety-five percent or more without stopping, without a dictionary. So that's quite easy, right? You want a lot of easy English listening. Now you might try children programs. You might try children's audio books. You might, or maybe audio books for you know. Teenagers,、uh, like American, who are thirteen, fourteen, fifteen years old. If that's too difficult, find something easier. You can listen to programs from very small, small children. Now, if something's more different, you can still use it. But you usually need the text. You need to be able to read it. So that's also useful. You can get an audio article or speech. Or a lesson, even, and you have the text, so you can read and listen at the same time. That's okay, also. But listening is the most important thing. Listen, listen, listen. Every change you have, get an iPod, you know, get an MP3 player. Listen to English all the time. Listen in the morning when you get up. Listen when you go to work or when you are at home. Listen when you are at lunch. Listen. When you are coming home from work, listen in the evening. Lots and lots and lots of English listening, lots of easy listening. That's your number one key. Listen to podcast. Listen to my videos. I have a free podcast. Listen to that. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, so it's simple. It's easy and it's super powerful. Please do this. Focus on listening, not on textbooks. Not on learning with your eyes, 
Learn with your ears. It's it's the most powerful rule, okay? So that's rule number three.